five, four, three, two, one. Looks good in there, everything inside there, but it went off on an angle and exited out the side. It's probably hit the wall over there somewhere. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, good, good. Okay, thank you. The the yawing or the tilting on the axis extends from about six inches of penetration right up to where the bullet exited the path. Uh, exited the block of gelatin at about 20 some inches. You can see the temporary cavity extends that whole area and the wider tissue uh, path made by the bullet you can see very well. Which means that the, the bullet was going sideways for most of its path, but you can also see that there are no bullet pieces in the gelatin. No bullet pieces at all. Which means that the bullet did not come apart, did not break or fracture while it was in the gelatin. The, uh, the AK-47 is probably a very ideal bullet for causing a wound in a soldier. And what must be kept in mind is for military purposes, it's usually felt that a wounded enemy is very useful on the battlefield because in order to handle someone that's wounded, it takes at least two people who are not wounded away from being combatants and therefore uh, a military weapon that wounds is considered ideal. There's probably more uh, AK-47 rounds fired now in various battles throughout the world than any other round. Now if we look at the, a, the M16, here we have a, a smaller caliber bullet. The AK-47 is a 30 caliber bullet. It weighs 123 grains for each bullet. Now the M16, however, is only a 22 caliber bullet. It's much smaller. It is useful because it is a lighter weight cartridge. The soldier can carry many more of them. It is also a cartridge that causes very little recoil. So it is easier to take a recruit and teach him to fire this weapon than the 30 caliber weapon. So it has certain advantages on the field of battle. However, since it is much, such a small caliber compared to the AK-47, it, if it acted the same way as the AK-47, it would make such a small wound that the wound might not be adequate for military purposes. However, the M16, in the fact that it does fragment, 
does increase its wounding capability to some degree and therefore brings its wound up to the level of the one made by the uh, AK-47 and makes its wound an adequate wound for military purposes.